So what's up guys, it's me, Nicest Kamo, bringing you guys a yet another gameplay preview. This is the routine. It's somewhat of a survival horror slash amnesia type game, which is really cool. Um, it kind of reminds me a lot of, you know, Bio Shock and System Shock. You know, you arrive to this really cool looking place and all of a sudden it's going to shit. That's basically how I can how I explain it. Uh, there goes a little bit of robot cleaning up what <laughs> mess there is. And you know, a lot of things you know really took you know took me off when I saw this game. I was like, wow, this game looks amazing. You know, first the graphics really surprised me for an indie game at that, and second, you know, the lighting. You know, we all know in video games, especially horror games, lighting is like the key thing that makes a game. And the lighting looks amazing. Now, here we go. You know, looking around the corners, little cool mechanic. A lot of games are starting to feature. And here comes our pin pal gun, <laughs> pin pal gun. But basically, you can hack into the environment. And he's looking for key codes, as you guys can see. He finds the key code and he basically, you know, gains it. Not sure how that's going to affect the gameplay. Maybe this is going to be some well, a cool objective. Now, notice there was no kind of like HUD in the game, so not sure how that's going to work, which is pretty cool. But I guess it's going to be like a bare bones. And here we see the player basically open up a door. Which is another cool little feature. It's taking forever to open this damn door, but that's pretty cool. I really like that. Um, he knows another little control panel where the player can. He's going to interact with it in a minute, and we see a little bit more of the cool lighting effects. So you see the you know little soda machine going, doo -doo, doo -doo. <laughs> and we're going to see an enemy type coming up very soon. But as you can see, the player is actually, um, I guess you could say, looking for a file. And he found the file, and he's going to, I guess, yeah, he's just going to download it, <laughs> common sense, and so on. So he's downloading, he's downloading, and what's cool is that you can start hearing a little bit of creeper sound going on, and which I like, another thing that really makes a horror, like a horror game is, you know, good sound, you know, sound effects, and really good sound, sound area, which I really like in games, so... Here the player gets a little explorerish, and he goes down here, and it kind of took me off like, ooh, wow, this is kind of creepy. And he, boom, there was our first enemy type. Now when I first saw this enemy type, I'm thinking, oh, is it a mutant? No, it is not a fucking mutant. It's a freaking robot. I know, I robot all over again, <laughs> and that's pretty cool. You know, he shoots the robot. I'm not sure how the robot's gonna be able to affect you. It looks like a fucking dummy doll at that, and he opens the door. You know, a tension moment close to the door. So here comes another really awesome like lighting effects and graphics. You know, all in one, which is so cool looking. And we see a little bit of a little shade in the back. He, he peeks over the corner, and you know, we see more. We see, first time ever we see water effects, which is really cool. Uh, the lighting in the water is just wow. <laughs> this these indie developers keep surprising more and more. This is probably like. Wow, this just looks amazing. So, players kind of basically checking out, seeing everything. And, boom, there was our first, our second enemy type. Um, player just starts running, gets out of the water. Seems like the water is going to hinder your, mo your movement. And, boom, he goes to the little night vision, which is pretty cool. And, player runs, 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 and he gets his ass raped. Yeah, just told you. And ruined the game for you. But, that's the routine. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay preview. Please rate and subscribe. It's coming to Steam and it's going to be supporting the Oculus Rift. So, hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Share with your friends and get it out there. So, peace.